Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. For this video, I'm going to open up another monthly subscription from Check Beads Exclusive. In case you're interested in this box, I will leave a link for it down there below in the description bar. So let's see what this month's theme is. Here's this piece of paper, this flyer thing again, talking about their retail store. They're opening up the store. So cool. And this is their Bohem style box and the Check Beads exclusive box. And here's all their social media. And you gotta check them out on there because they'll let you know when they have new products available. Stuff like that. Alright, the theme is Summer Adventure. Gosh. 15 items, several lots. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here. Oh my gosh, I saw this charm on their site and I wanted it. It's really cute. It's a connector piece. This is great for macrame bracelets. Do you remember I did recently, I did a tutorial. Well, it wasn't recently. It was maybe a month or two ago. With, it was a Check Beads exclusive subscription box. There was rose connectors in it. And I used the rose connector to do two macrame bracelets. I will put a picture of the bracelet up now. You can use the same exact connector in that bracelet that I just showed you. Because it has the link there on each side. Isn't this precious? Look at the starfish. It's really cute. There's the back. This would never really flip over though. If you're putting it in a bracelet, like I said, you're using it as a connector like that. It would stay just like this. Unless you put the bracelet on upside down. But um, that style bracelet that I showed, how to make in that tutorial, it didn't have a clasp. So this would always stay facing up. Right, so I'm going to sit this here, make sure everything's in frame. My camera tripod has been falling on me, it's driving me nuts. Here are some leaf beads. I don't think I've ever seen this color before in this shape. I've seen the check leaf that has the top drill hold, but not the side. Like these, look at these. Pretty. Looks like water. I went out on the boat like two weeks ago and the water was literally this color. It was amazing. Doesn't happen all the time. It was beautiful. Gorgeous. Ooh, this one's really nice. Because it's that realistic looking green. You know if you're doing a project with leaves and flowers and you want a natural color. And I love the, I think that's antique copper in the veins. And there's enough here for me to make a ring. I need six leaves. So that's what I will probably do with that. Oh my gosh, look at this Hawaiian flower. It is pink. For a second I thought it was red. But it is pink, like magenta pink with white. I think we're going to have a bunch of flowers in this box. I got a feeling. I got a feeling. And remember, I did another bracelet with macrame using these Hawaiian flowers. I'll put a picture of that bracelet up now. I think that was called the Creative Dreams Bracelet. I actually designed that one before I did the one with the rose connector, in case you didn't know. But um, fancy beads like that are great in a macrame bracelet like that. But great, it's a centerpiece. What is this? This looks uh, pewter. Some kind of a charm. Oh my gosh, it's patinaed. That's precious. 
Look at that. That's really pretty. So, there was something recently in my stash that I wanted to patina. I can't remember what it was, but I want to try doing it with paint instead of buying the vintage stuff. I want to do with what do it with what I already have. And I've done like whitewash and stuff on wood before, and I'm really tempted all of those these together. These look really cute together. Anyways, I'm really tempted to just try it with paint. See how it goes. I think it was a, a, a pendant that I had. A filigree pendant or something. I was wanting to patina it with turquoise paint. I've done it before with buttons. With glass buttons. And glass pendants. I've patinaed them before and it works out perfectly. With just regular acrylic paint. These are precious. These are patinaed too. They're so tiny. These are perfect for the bottom of an earring. Really cute. I like the pink patina. They match these perfectly. Oh my gosh, we might have to make an inklet. What else we got? <gasps> no way. I've never seen these. It's a helm on a ship, right? Is that what it's called? Those are so cool. They're table cut. I wonder what this bead's what I wonder what this looks like before it's table cut. See, it's flat, shiny. So this here was raised. There was some kind of surface here. Like these uh, uh, Hawaiian flowers, these aren't table cut, but they do table cut this flower. And when they cut it, they just shave the top off there somehow. I don't know. But um, it's then flat, and there's like a different color underneath. They do like Picasso and stuff. But um, this here, that's not red Picasso. I don't know what that is. Some kind of a metallic finish over top of that red bead. But that is so cool. I like that. This would also look neat in that Creative Dreams bracelet that I was talking about. Have that be the center. What else we got? Oh, I like the swirly beads. These are cute. I like swirls. Yeah, I like those. They kind of look like snails. They kind of do. What's this? A shell? Oh, this is double sided. That's cool. That's a shell. Wait a second. We got like a, uh, a beach theme going on, and then we have. Flowers. What was the picture again? Summer Adventure. Come on back. Open up. These are cool. I love the double sided charms. They're my favorite because you can use them in bracelets and it doesn't matter if it flips over. Actually, it has a shell look and then again it doesn't. I think it would depend on what you put it in. You know what I'm saying? It's a really pretty pattern. So if you have it with like shells and you know beach stuff, then it does take on that shell look. But I think it would also just go in, you know, into other things. It doesn't have to be a shell look because it's not actually shaped like a shell. It's just a pattern is the top of a shell. You know what I'm saying? Like the top of that there. This is this is the petal beads in acid wash. So, these here, I have a lot of these in my stash. I have them in a bunch of different colors, but I've never seen them in acid wash. I have that color right there, actually. That pink one, it's my favorite. I don't remember where I bought it from. Where did I get it from? I 
Are these smaller? Yeah, what? I didn't know they came in smaller sizes. Actually, I think the acid wash is eating away the bead that made it smaller. Something like that. They look just a little bit smaller. But you know, I have seen, I've seen like um weird things with check beads. I've had some check beads, these one tile ones, they're really pretty. And um, when I first got them, they were really thick. And then I got them another time, and they were thin. But they had the same pattern on them. It was really weird. I've also got the two hole lintels that had the holes in the middle of the bead. And then I had two hole lintels where the holes were on the edges of the bead. So I've had weird things like that. So that's cool. And how many are there? Hmm. I could make a flower. Yeah, I could make a flower. Okay, so these, I have these in my stash and the petals. These have white in them. Mine are all pink, but they do have this stripey look, this pattern on them. And this is my most favorite color that I have in these petal beads. It's gorgeous in pink. Look how pretty. I've made flowers with these. Um, I'm going to go look for the flowers that I made with these and put pictures of the flowers up now. So those are awesome. I really like the white in it actually. Like I said, mine are pink. But see that white in there? How cool that looks. Those are awesome. I love those. I love them. Even though I already have them in my stash, I still love them. And I would like to have more and more and more of them. And in the supply, because it's my favorite color in that shape of bead there. This is the triangle beads. We got this recently in Bohem style. Was it last? No. It was a month, month before. Um, I made a necklace and bracelet with these. It was a beach theme. The necklace and the bracelet was awesome. Um, I'll put a picture of that up now. Yeah, I really like that design. That was a Bohem style subscription. I don't think it was last month. I want to say it was the month before. I think it was June's box. But these beads were in that. I don't even know. I have the necklace sitting over there in my necklace bust. But um, it's tangled up with my other necklaces I've layered. But um, I don't know if you can actually see these beads in that necklace, but they are in there. They're definitely in there. They're really cool. Oh my gosh, I want to know what this is called. So this finish is the same as this and this, and I think this too is just a different color. It's a two-tone finish, but it's not throughout the glass. It's like on the outside. I think it's some kind of coating, a plating or something, I don't know. But it's not all the way through the bead. At least it, to me it doesn't look like that. It looks like it's sprayed on or something. This one has an AB finish. These are so precious. Look at how perfect. The prettiest. This one here, you can really see the two tone, the purple and the blue. Those are gorgeous. Oh my. Now I want to make a bracelet that has flowers, butterflies, and leaves. No way! Look at this one. So this butterfly matches these Hawaiian flowers perfectly. I can't tell if this is like blue or gray. Oh, it's blue. Yeah, it's like a sapphire blue. I had to put up to the light. 
those are precious too. I love them. They're cute. They look so good with that flower right there. Some fancy beads. Some really fancy stuff in here. What's this? This is a, a pink opal or milky bellflower. I love these. Um, I think I have this, but mine is this pink. Opaque pink. And this is the opal one. It's gorgeous. All of these bags are like flipping on me. All right. More? More flowers? So this matches those right there. It's that aqua blue and the green. I wonder what the triangle bead would look like underneath here because this triangle is it's like a pyramid. The holes in the starts on the point side and then there's a flat side. So I wonder if that would almost look like the base of a flower. Those are cute. You know what I've seen before? I think it was on Tentris. They take the sugar skulls. Actually, they don't use the sugar skulls. I always see it with the um, the skull beads that are dyed halite, like the turquoise one, white and the, the white one. They take those, they put it onto a head pin, and then they take uh, flowers like this in different colors. They put these onto head pins. They do wire wrap loops, and then they slide them down on top of the the skull to make it look like a sugar skull. It's really cute, especially with a whole bunch of like oddball flowers. Here are some more, and this matches these. Yeah, the same color. There is a really bizarre color in there that I've only seen in Czech. Um, see the pink one right there? I've only seen that in Czech fire polish beads. So there it is again, that same color in the bell flowers. This. This is to die for. Yeah, I've only seen this in Czech fire polish beads. It is hot pink with like fuchsia, watermelon looking color. It's gorgeous, look at that. So pretty. I think I might want to put those with those. an ankle bracelet would be nice with these beads. Here's more. No way that's the same. Yeah. This looks more... Oh, this one's different. So this is fuchsia with blue and purple. Which I think I have this color in rondelles, maybe? I think so. Pretty, very pretty. It's kind of in between. I feel like this is in between those two. Alright, what's next? Drops. I can never remember what this color is. I think the I think the reason why I can't remember it is because the name does not match at all what it looks like. Like, it doesn't describe this this color at all to me. I have this color in Drux in 6mm and 4mm. Um, I think I have this in Super Duos. I think it's actually called Red something. 
I don't know, the name doesn't make sense. That's why I don't remember it. But look at that. It's pink. And it has these like rusty specks on it. That's how I would describe it. But they don't call it pink. They call it something else. Oh my gosh. I have to go. No way. There's more of those shells. Yes. This is some of the colors that I had seen. Online. So in my last video I opened up the Bohem style box. And there was a bag in there of these white shells. They are Czech glass. They're not actual shells. They are pressed glass. The ones I got in that box were white. But these here have a finish on them. It's kind of like pearl looking. This looks really close to the real snail. I talked about in that video how I have these where I live on the islands in the sandbars. They're like zombie snails. They come up out of the sand to eat the debris. When you walk across the sand, you mix up the sand, they'll come up out of the sand. And this is exactly what they look like. The same size and everything. So amazing. I can't believe they made this shell. It's so beautiful. I'm really impressed with those. This is so cool. And I think from a distance, everybody would think that that is an actual, real shell. It does not look glass. The detail is mind-blowing. Blowing my mind. What's that? Another one? Oh, oh no way. Is there another shell? Yes. There's another shell. Okay, so I said that these shells actually have, in real life, they're a gray snail. And this is exactly what it looks like. Exact. Wow. That is so funny. It looks exactly like the shell. Like, I usually see them grayish brown color, and this is the color. Amazing. I'm amazed. Okay. I want to see. This is another helm bead. I think that's purple. That's so pretty. Um, I wonder what... What that would look like. I got an idea. This one here actually doesn't have the purple on this side. It still looks good though. Yeah, I've talked about this before. This one's faint. Um, I've talked about this before. I've gotten beads where one side was beautiful, like this side here, and then I had a side that was not too hot looking. So what I do is I make earrings with beads like this because I came up with a way to keep this this part here that's not so hot on the back of the earring I stabilize it so it's always facing forward like this I will put a picture to that video that I'm talking about up now and if you put that title in in the picture you will find the tutorial on YouTube and you can watch how to use a flat bead like this in earrings all right, so we have, looks like we have some teardrops left in there. So this color, I don't remember what this is called either, but it's a marbleized pink. It's like a strawberry pink. Um, I have marbleized seed beads in Toho. They are so doggone expensive, like ridiculous expensive. But this is what the finish is like. It's so gorgeous. It's marbleized. Pink. It's beautiful. I put the beads in order according to the list, and number one is seashell beads. These are 15 by 12 millimeter, two lots. Coin beads, 12 by 12 millimeter, 
two lots. Teardrop beads, 7 by 5 millimeter. And if you study the two different teardrops here, you'll see that this one, the marble one, is just a little bit bigger than these. So this is 7 by 5 millimeter, and the smaller one is 4 by 6 millimeter. And then they're calling these beads here pinch beads. These are 4 by 7 millimeter, which I think is strange because pinch beads don't look like this. These are triangle shaped, so maybe it's another kind of pinch bead. And then number six is flower beads these are six by eight millimeter four lots one two three four and then the butterfly beads fifteen by twelve millimeter two lots leaf beads eleven by seven millimeter two lots and then the flower petal beads six by eight millimeter two lots and then seashell metal beads right here these are twelve millimeter and then hot seashell, seashell, oh, seashell charms, hot seashell charms, these are 10 millimeter. And then right here, this cool seashell starfish charm, I love that thing. And then, it didn't say the size though, did it? I just realized that. And then 13 says flower charms, 8 by 14 millimeter. And then this one here is a nice flower charm, 11 by 16 millimeter. And these are beautiful flower beads, 9 millimeter. So this is everything that I'm getting in this month's Summer Adventure box. This is August box. And remember, I will put a link for the subscription box down there below in the description bar. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.